This video is sponsored by Vengage. Hi, I'm Steve Kaplan for Creative Pro, and in this feature, we're going to look at how to use the automatic face selection tools in Photoshop to make this model more glamorous. We'll start by using the object selection tool, and if you don't see it, it's nested beneath the magic wand tool. And it starts by finding areas in your image. As you roll over the face, you can see each part of the face highlighted. We can also use the Select People button on the Options bar. There's a thumbnail of the person, and here are all the elements you can find in this image. Let's start by selecting her hair. We'll click on it and click the Apply button. And that hair is now selected. We're still getting those rollovers, so let's switch to a different tool, such as the Marquee tool, so we don't get the rollovers showing up. We'll make a new adjustment layer, and let's use Curves. We'll call it Hair. And let's brighten it up slightly, and drag above to increase the contrast. And that makes the hair rather more lustrous. Now for the rest of the face. Back to the Object Selection tool, and it's not selecting anything because we're on the Hair Adjustment layer. If we go back onto the Background layer, now we get all that selection coming up for us. We can click to select the irises, hold the Shift key to add to our selection, and now we can click in the whites of the eyes to select them as well. Once again, I'll switch to the Marquee tool and make another adjustment layer, and we'll use Curves again. And we'll call this Eyes. I'm going to brighten them up. We'll go back to the Object Selection tool, switch to our background layer again, and now let's select the lips. This time, let's use a Hue and Saturation adjustment layer. We'll call it Lips. Switch Tools again. And now let's increase the saturation of those lips. Maybe darken them up a little bit. And those are looking a lot stronger. Now her skin's looking rather washed out, so let's go back onto the background layer, back into our Object Selection tool, select People, and we can now select the facial skin, and the nose, and the upper body skin. And you'll notice that no selection is actually made until we click the Apply button. That's so that you can select multiple parts at the same time. Once again, We'll change tools, and now let's make another hue and saturation adjustment layer. And we'll call it Skin. Let's increase saturation on the skin to give her that nice warm glow. Now, because each of these are separate adjustment layers, we can go back to any of them and change the way they look. So, for example, we can go into the lips, Double-click it, and now we can increase the saturation on the lips a bit, now that her face is warmer, and maybe make them just a little bit darker. Now, when Photoshop makes an automatic selection, it makes a hard edge around the selected area, and that's reflected in the mask. If we zoom in, we can see there's a problem in the hair area. The curved adjustment for the hair includes part of the skin at the top, and the hue and saturation adjustment for the skin doesn't reach all the way up. It's easy to fix that. We'll start by making sure the mask is selected on the skin layer, and we'll switch to the brush tool, and if we paint in white on here, that extends the mask up into this area, and that carries that hue and saturation adjustment all the way up there. Let's now switch to the hair layer, and once again we'll make sure we're selecting the hair mask and not the adjustment itself. 
This time we'll paint in black and the shortcut to switch between these is X. And now we can paint out that curves adjustment up into the hairline for a perfect result. So here's where we started. And without making any manual selections, we've been able to adjust the hair, the eyes, the lips, and the skin to produce a much more glamorous look for this model. And that's all thanks to the ability to select parts of a face automatically using Photoshop's object selection tool. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.